What's up everybody, it's Anand and I just parked my car at the mall today in the morning because I mean, it's charging in the background but today I wanted to quickly talk about how you can actually reduce your caffeine intake and ironically enough I'm actually headed to Starbucks right now while I'm talking about this but hear me out okay I have a problem uh, I'm typically I've been opposed to drinking a lot of caffeine and I've been very sensitive to caffeine in the past but if you've been following me for a while and if you follow my Instagram you know that I've been cutting for the last few months so on my diet you know having caffeine really helps especially if you drink black coffee or something so ever since I started dieting my caffeine intake just went up and I drink like three to four cups of coffee a day which is getting pretty ridiculous and I've been looking to cut down my caffeine intake. So what I'm gonna do is, the best way to quit caffeine is to go cold turkey. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Unless you like feeling pretty shitty or you like getting migraine headaches or something. But in this video, I wanna give you three quick tips on how you can effectively reduce your caffeine intake. The first tip I have for you is you want to gradually decrease your caffeine intake so either cut down how many cups of coffee or how, how many times you have caffeine in a day or reduce the serving size so i'm about to head to starbucks right now and in case you didn't know starbucks actually has a, a lot of different sizes right i don't even know what the sizes are called like grande or venti or whatever tall short if you're used to having the largest one then try to go for uh, one size smaller so it's, if you're having like a 16 ounces then try to go for 12 ounces if you have, if you used to have if you used to have 12 ounces then have 8 ounces so you know what i mean right with each serving you're going to have like a smaller serving size Uh, what's the smallest size yeah. you got? Yeah. This is 205, this is 215. Okay. That, that's the short? Yeah, for sure, right? 205. Okay, I'll, I'll go for that one. So this is what I got, guys. This is like the smallest size they have. As you can see, it's even smaller than my hand, but it's, it's one way to do it. Now, I don't go to Starbucks all the time, but most of the coffee that I drink is in my office. And fortunately, my office has this Keurig machine that has these sizes predetermined. So as you can see over here, I started off with the largest size. This is what I used to have like three to four times a day. And then what I simply switched over is to one size smaller. And then once I got used to it, I went to one size smaller than that as well. So it has, you know, you can take a gradual approach like this. But if you've been drinking coffee for a really long time, then you're still gonna feel the effects of this. And for this reason, I'm gonna give you tip number two, which is to combine caffeine with some sort of other stimulant or anything that is synergistic with caffeine that's gonna enhance the effects of caffeine. So two ingredients come to mind. One is called tyrosine which is actually an amino acid that enhances the effects of caffeine. So you actually need less caffeine to get some of the stimulatory effects of it. What you can do is once you cut down the serving size of caffeine, you can just add in uh, a few grams, like two to three grams of tyrosine, and you're still gonna get the effects out of it. The other ingredient is called theocrine or theocrine as some companies call it, and this is this has effects similar to caffeine, but it's not habit forming. And if you combine it with caffeine, it can give you a synergistic effect. And the third tip I have for you is to change your caffeine source. So if you used to have coffee, did you know that different sources of coffee have different levels of caffeine? And uh, I know this sounds counterintuitive, but if you have dark roast coffee, it actually has significantly less caffeine than light roast coffee so if you're having some sort of blonde roast or light roast then try switching to a dark roast which is actually gonna taste stronger but it actually has less caffeine in it you may also want to try other sources of caffeine like switching to tea or something like that 
and eventually you know you can reduce your intake this way now don't get me wrong there's nothing inherently wrong with caffeine but the problem is it's addictive and habit forming and and also the stimulatory effects of caffeine go down over time so it becomes less and less effective and if you care about your training and your performance like i do then you want to be able to use caffeine strategically in a way that you can enhance your performance when you really need it for example if i'm going to compete in powerlifting i have a competition coming up in about 6 weeks um I I want to use caffeine effectively to boost my performance. But if I'm drinking coffee all the time and constantly stimulating myself, I'm no longer going to see the stimulatory effect of caffeine. So I'm going to reduce my intake gradually over over the next 1 to 2 weeks. And when it comes time for my competition, I'm going to have some coffee or some pre-workout to get those effects. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and Stay strong.